outside of Ann Arbor, so Billy was a big star for us as well. Uh, I'm sure that mic's working. Okay. Switch mics. Just rotating mic. Anyway, so Dan, uh, Dan started to talk to me about this idea for a film about Billy Taylor, and I read Billy's book, and it was, uh, you know, it was an amazing, amazing story, and a very, for me, it was an inspiring story of somebody who could hit the depths and somehow resurrect himself, and I just thought. What an incredible story that would make. So that's how we started, Dan. It was Dan's idea, and I credit him for, frankly, uh, his own sense of perseverance in getting the film made. Well, looking at Dan, I would think you played football, but you were an actor, or you did both? Uh, I, I would describe myself as an athlete in, in high school and somewhat in college, but uh, I've gained a lot of weight since those days. Well, you're I was, tall, I was too. About, 180, <laughs> about 175 pounds in high school. I recently went to a high school reunion, and some of the guys that were on the football team said, geez, Chase, if you were that big, we really could have used you on the team. <laughs> but um, uh, no, this is all from sitting at a desk. But uh, yeah, no, it, it's been very inspirational. Um, it, what I, One of the great things that's come out of this for me is uh, the nature of creative collaboration. And you never know when you get together with a friend and say, let's do business together or let's collaborate together or let's create something together, whether it's going to work. And friendships have been lost that way. Businesses have been destroyed. But Bob has been a longtime friend, and so it was a thrill to uh, collaborate in this way, which we hadn't done in many, many years, and then uh, have Bob bring his expertise, his, his uh, crew, and his talented staff. And it really took on a life of its own. It became much more than I had imagined it could be. Had you made any films before? Uh, very small projects. Uh, uh, you know, had done acting for several years, had had worked with a, a friend in, in Los Angeles, a guy named Tim Russ, who's an actor, and we had done some smaller projects together. But this is my first film, my first full-length or uh, documentary film. Uh, I'm going to switch back over to Billy Taylor. And uh, I didn't know there was a book about this, too. Yeah. So you got a book out. Well, uh, we've got to hear more about that. But uh, the one, th let's go forward. Now, you, uh, you end up on the streets, and you end up uh, uh, in prison, uh, you're down and out, you're into drugs, you're into drinking, uh, and then all of a sudden you, uh, you heard a voice. Right. And right. it's like, uh, this is like a fairy tale story or a, a real true from the great spirits or the gods or God or <laughs> however it is figured up there or out there or in here. Uh, what happened to you well, and where did it take you? Let, let me... First, I, I didn't get a chance to say hello to Chicago. I love this city. Ah. Hello to all of the, the Michigan uh, uh, Wolverines that are in the Chicago area, and I asked him to come out and check out this film uh, tonight at the Cisco uh, Film Center. Five o'clock. Yeah, and I want to say regarding the ups and downs and the, and, and the substance abuse, uh, I am Dr. Billy Taylor. However, I have not always been Dr. Taylor. This August of this year will be 16 years since I had a drink, drug, or a cigarette. How, however, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I, and on, on that note, I say to everyone that's listening, come out and see the movie. There's a whole lot of things covered here, but um, it, everyone can relate because I've never met anyone that doesn't have somebody in their family that has an issue with alcohol or other drugs or other substances. You know, it's touched every family and if someone say they do not, I would ask them to take another look because they're there. And, and this is covered and, uh, you know, my son is in it. You do talk about the family dynamics yeah. and, and how life just passes you by when you're, you're there and, uh, you know, incarcerations and everything, you know, is, is there. but. Um, I relapsed a thousand times probably before I got it and uh, my recovery was very dramatic um, and uh, owning a drug treatment facility get back up incorporated in Detroit uh, and, and being a recovering person myself I know it's not always that dramatic for most addicts and alcoholics that's trying to get their life back on track but I was brought up in church I prayed a lot you know, and even while drinking and drugging on the streets and the two years of being homeless in Detroit, uh, before I got back up, you know, I was, I prayed, but one day I heard a voice and, and it called my name. Uh, that was August 17th of, of 19, 
97, William Taylor come forth. This is what I heard just as clear as we're talking. And I jumped straight up from a sitting position. I dropped the bottle that I was drinking from, but that was the last day I had a drink or a drug, and that's my testimony. You know, um, in the audience is my sister, uh, Cheryl Carson, and she was there uh, for me, and um, uh, it's all in the book, and it comes out in the movie, uh, you know, what happened from that day forward. But August 17th of 2000. 13 will be 16 years uh, since Bill Taylor, Dr. Taylor, has had a drink, drug, or cigarette. Now, you started an organization called Get Back Up? Get Back Up Incorporated. It's I love that name, Get C3. Back Up. I mean, you could apply that to a lot of situations. Get yeah. Back Up. Yeah, when, mothers, it's time to move. Let's do it. Motto in personal philosophy, when life knocks you down, get back up. And everyone gets knocked down at one time or another, one way or another. It doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol. Socially, spiritually, financially, emotionally. But it's imperative that you get back up get back on track you know if you want to be a winner and reclaim your life don't stay down that's good that's good uh, good message for all of us because uh, there's a lot of things confronting us all uh, that we got to deal with and unless we keep getting back up and fighting the fight uh, living the, the good life uh, and I mean a good life by a principled life uh, things won't go that well we have to do it uh, do you uh, uh, have any uh, let me ask Dan what do you have planned you got any other movies any other uh, things up your sleeves well there's there's other things that have been discussed outside of this project but we still have a lot of work to do with this one um, where are you taking it to how's it getting distributed well, we're, we're looking at some uh, we're applying for some film festivals and looking at doing screenings in large metropolitan areas so this has been a great sort of test case for us Chicago's a great place to show the film we've had a, a lot of positive positive responses to the film people find it inspiring and they seem to love it but the film really our intention was to get this event on television we think it's well suited for TV it's not it's not really a sports film although it involves a, a well-known sports figure but it's really a human interest and a recovery story and it's in it's inspiring along those lines uh, hopefully people can come out today at 5 p.m. if they can't make the show today I just do want to mention that the the film is also available for sale through the M den uh, you can go to mden.com and buy it there too if you'd like to but uh, television is where we hope to to get the film next. I think it'd be great if you sent screeners to football coaches too. High school football coaches, uh, college football coaches. Uh, you know, we have this organization that uh, you all should be involved with in some way called Athletes United for Peace. It's kind of like older jocks who are a little left of center. Uh -huh. uh, we've traveled to the Cuba, to the old Soviet Union. We do races here. Uh, there's groups around the country, El Paso, we do uh, basketball in the barrio. Uh, but there's a real network of, uh, of positive people who would love to see it. So uh, I'm going to recommend it that we show it to uh, at least the coaches and the older people involved down there at basketball in the barrio this summer. I'm hoping and you that might be a good guest down I there. I love Chicago and Oprah Winfrey and I'm hoping someone on our staff is listening and will come out tonight to the Cisco Film Center and check out Perseverance. Bob, you got a couple seconds here. Tell <laughs> yeah. us what your plans are. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Whatever you want to share. Work, well, we are tentatively working on a new film about Maya Angelou, the author and, and Ah, actor. you're going public with that now. That is yeah. great. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, thank and you. Maya. I think that's yeah, going to be a great be a film. film. And, uh, you know what, I, I learned a lot from making this film about Billy. Uh, one thing I was talking about last night was it's interesting to see what happens at the end of somebody's college career, you know, uh, athletes, co elite college athletes like Billy and, his, and the others are in a kind of rarefied world and all of a sudden they drop off the cliff when they get out of college and I think the film could be valuable for that as well, to, like you said, to send out to coaches, to send out to athletic programs, and for people to think about what happens when a college career ends, it's, uh, it's, it can be rather dramatic in, a, in, not, in not, such, not such a great way. Well, I want to thank the three of you, uh, Dan Chase, uh, uh, thank you for showing up, Billy Taylor, and it's always good to have you on, Bob. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank the people who make the show possible. I want to thank Paul and Mary Wozniak. I want to thank Lynn Orman. I want to thank, thank Grant Siskel. I want to thank 
Jay Serrate. I want to thank Eli Sloan. I want to thank Laura Herman. I want to thank Lisa Smith. I want to thank my co-host Katie Hogan who is on her way to Costa Rica. Oh, yes. And I want to encourage you all to do good in the world because the world needs all the good that you do. And let's say it all together. All power to the people. Over and out. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.